Hi, I'm Dr. Marty O'Neill at the University of North Texas Center for Computational Epidemiology and Response Analysis, and I'm going to show you how Replan can be used for COVID-19 vaccination planning. We have designed the COVID-19 version of Replan to support planning for either the entire population or for just the uninsured population. Therefore, if primary care providers will be vaccinating their patients, you could focus on the uninsured population. Otherwise, you could focus on the entire population. First, we need to build a plan. For our purposes, a plan consists of a set of vaccination pod locations and corresponding resource allocations. We will start by establishing an initial plan, and then we will use Replan to make any adjustments to fine-tune that plan. We realize that different jurisdictions will build their initial plans in different ways, so we have devised different methods in Replan to create an initial plan. If you already know where you would like your pods, you can simply import them from a CSV file that can be easily exported from spreadsheet or GIS software, such as Microsoft Excel or ArcGIS. If you know how many pods you need, but you don't know where to place them, Replan can help you quickly place your pods at existing facilities including stadiums, schools, pharmacies, or places of worship. If you are starting from scratch and don't know how many pods you need, Replan can help you quickly derive how many pods you need for your jurisdiction using information you likely already know. Perhaps you would like to use a combination of the above methods. Maybe you would like to use existing anthrax pods in conjunction with other local facilities to build an initial plan consisting of a set of pod locations and associated resource allocations. We are building features into Replan to help you with that too. Once you've established an initial plan, you can use Replan to analyze and revise that plan. Replan can help you identify pods that are serving populations so large that the number of vaccination lanes needed exceeds what is reasonable for a particular facility. By the way, if you're not familiar with a particular facility, Replan can deep link you into Google Earth to inspect it. If you do decide that a pod facility won't support the population assigned to it, you can either create another pod nearby to share the load, or you can move the pod location to a different, larger facility. Once you've completed fine-tuning your plan, you are ready to explore special, vulnerable, and at-risk populations. Do you want to explore how language barriers in your jurisdiction could lead to access disparities? Explore specific languages one at a time on a pod-by-pod -pod basis to understand what special language resources you will need at each pod. You can explore what requirements each pod must fulfill to support specific access and functional needs that exist in your jurisdiction. Replan for COVID-19 includes two methods to examine age distribution among your pods. The first method simply allows you to examine pediatric, minor, and elderly populations. The second method digs deeper. It allows you to specifically explore the uninsured population by toggling on or off each age range. Finally, Replan enables you to examine pod locations with respect to vehicle ownership. For instance, if you have a vaccine allocated for you 10 miles away, but you don't have access to a vehicle, you may not be able to travel to receive your vaccine. However, if you live across the street from a vaccination pod, you likely don't need a vehicle to be able to visit the pod. Replan has methods to enable you to explore vehicle ownership in the context of vaccination pod locations. By the way, all of the plans you save in Replan can be loaded and modified at any time to enable you to revise plans as new information becomes available. This takes the emphasis off the creation of static plans and puts the emphasis on maintaining planning capabilities. This is why we Replan.